at O'Hare. Critics have pointed out the increasing numbers in recent months. Eric Rung is live at O'Hare with more. Eric. Well, good morning. The mayor's comments came after a alderman who she frequently clashes with. Alderman Ray Lopez appeared on a national show to talk about the issue, and he said that Mayor Lightfoot is basically ignoring the issue. We understand that homelessness is a problem we must address, but making O'Hare Airport a homeless shelter for hundreds of people on a daily basis, when we're trying to welcome people here, when we're trying to encourage tourism, bring back the business clientele, bring back families to our city, and to only have them greeted by hundreds of homeless who have mental health issues, may be armed, maybe not even be clothed, that's not something that institutes a lot of confidence in our mayor, in our city, and clearly she doesn't care. The fact of the matter is we have taken and will continue to take the steps that are necessary uh, to move people out of the airports. The airports are a very different place than you know, on the street um, in an, uh, under an underpass. It's a secure location, and the message is clear from me um, to uh, the Department of Aviation, uh, the police department up there. We absolutely fundamentally cannot have people sleeping um, in our airports. Lopez also tweeted uh, there is at least 200 homeless people a night at O'Hare. The Department of Aviation says through social media posts it continues to make investments and in services at the airport to ensure around the clock outreach to those sleeping and taking shelter at the airport. The problem isn't a new one, but it is getting a lot more attention. The Tribune reported the increase at O'Hare may be related to the fact that a number of shelter beds has decreased since the pandemic. I talked to a janitor out here off camera who said the problem is out of control. He says he's been threatened with a knife and complains security and police a lot of times don't do anything to try to move the homeless out. He also shared some photos with me of piles of clothes left in bathrooms and others that we can't show on TV showing human feces and urine and elevators and hallways and on the restroom floors. Now the issue is also getting a lot of attention from people just flying in and out of O'Hare. A lot of people have been posting pictures of the this, this issue uh, to their social media accounts. We are live at O'Hare this morning. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.